and welcome back guys so today we'll be playing some more fallout new vegas we're going to be do working on playing the last quest known as hoover dam so we're going to go to the top tower here we're going to go get the quest from yes man to do the hoover dam uh, we're going to go complete that and then i'm going to go to my last save and i'm going to go over the siege release and camp and i'm going to sanitize it and that will be the end of the gameplay for fallout new vegas because we've gone to every location or Pretty much every one that I can think of that we haven't missed. We went to every single blip on the map that's highlighted, that the ones that we can figure out how to get to. And there's only one side quest, uh, one side quest left, but that takes like three hours. And I just kind of want to get the series done. So, yeah, there's not really much left to do. So, I hope everyone enjoyed this series. Make sure you hit that like button, make sure you hit subscribe button. Let's go do some gameplay. Are you ready to head for the dam? Caesar's Legion is due to attack at any moment. Great! So I've been looking over Mr. House's force projections and running some calculations. It turns out there are two ways we can win this thing. Hear that? We have options! You could route the dam's power output to the facility under Fortification Hill. That'll restart its reactor, just like you did with the Lucky 38. That'll wake up the Securitron army you left on standby and give us enough force to push the Legion and the NCR straight out of the Mojave. The other option is destroy the dam's generators. Without those, it's just a big bunch of concrete. The NCR won't have any reason to stick around. You don't have to decide yet. For now, all you have to do is take this override module and install it on the terminal in the power control room. Good luck. See you at the dam.
Stop right there. No one is allowed into the control room. Stop right there. No one is allowed into the control room. Stop right there. No one is allowed into the control room. again. So, we can blow up the dam's generators, or I could route the dam's entire power output to the fort. That'll activate a certain army of Securitrons and set them loose to ravage the Legion. What do you say? Yes, this is going to be fun. I'm unlocking the East Power Plant. Hit the manual switch, then go topside and deal with the Legion and NCR.
Caesar on the cross. Been a long time since I've seen the kind of work you've laid down today. A damn long time. And the screams of those Legion bastards as they kick dirt running east like a choir of angels to my ears. Speaking of, that crazy light show over the fort? What the fuck was that? Some kind of thumb of God you called down? Amazing. Fucking amazing. Could use a hundred of you. Just scatter you over the east like jacks. Give those plum fucks the what for. And, um, well, <laughs> these, uh, these boys with you? <laughs> Hello there, Smiley. Guess it ain't no secret how you, uh, I say, can you ask them to put their weapons down? I was just reaching in my coat to give you a cigar. I would sooner spit on the grave of my dead mother than let some courier walk the wasteland fuck talk to me like that. Who the hell do you think you are? Looking to cash your chips to the sound of NCR bullets, huh? I can oblige. Look, I know you're riding high right now, but let me tell you, you ain't pissing on me right now. You're pissing on the bear. You've been far enough west, I'm guessing, to know how far that claw stretches. Fuck with the bear and... You want me to make tracks out of here? Head back west? Tail between our legs? No. I came for a fight today. And if you're looking to make me budge, you better have a damn good left hook, or I'm not going anywhere. Yeah. But I wasn't expecting a fight when I came up here. And now that we're talking, I don't like the sound of things. Do you know what you're doing? Making a nation like you think you're doing ain't like chowing down on a pile of fancy lad snack cakes. Think you got the guts to carve out a frontier? Build towns, protect the roads, run supplies, train troops? <sighs> Hell. Can't believe we got suckered by some road jockey. Should have watched the flank while Caesar's best was making all that noise. I know what those robots of yours can do on a bad day, and I'm not eager to toss lies at them just to make a point. But if you're taking this place, you better hope you can hold it. I'll give my superiors my opinion, but I don't think they're going to listen. So if NCR comes at you, and it will, pray you're ready. I promise you, our situation's reversed, I'd see you hang. What the hell? No, get away from me, you goddamn TV on wheels. did a super job wrapping things up. And I'm not just saying that because I have to. I didn't want to make a big deal about this until after we won, but, well, I found some code snippets in one of Mr. House's data banks that will let me, um, reprogram my personality. To be a little more assertive, basically. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And it's going to take me a while, so it'll seem like I'm offline. But don't worry. Everything will be okay. I've updated the Securitron's targeting parameters so they know what to do.
Vegas will be protected. So that's where I'll be, off making a few changes. And I, I guess I'll see you around. We accomplished a lot together. It was fun. Take care. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The courier, with the aid of Yes Man, drove both the Legion and the NCR from Hoover Dam, securing New Vegas's independence from both factions. With Mr. House out of the picture, part of the Securitron army was diverted to the Strip to keep order. Any chaos on the streets was ended, quickly. Chaos became uncertainty, then acceptance with minimal loss of life. New Vegas assumed its position as an independent power in the Mojave. Supporting the ideals of independence, the courier was recognized as the woman responsible for a truly free New Vegas. She ensured that Mr. House's tyranny was broken and that neither Caesar's legion nor NCR would ever gain control over New Vegas. Tabitha and Rhonda went east, through Caesar's land. Occasionally, tales of their exploits found their way back west, though few believed them. Eventually, the stories concerning the duo were collected and published, and proved to be quite popular with children. With little law left in the wasteland, the brooms continued to defend themselves against the prospectors and scavengers invading their territory. Hoping to lead the Mojave Brotherhood down a new path, Veronica sought to learn from the thriving cultures of the desert. Absent a firm solution, Veronica's expression of frustration with Brotherhood leadership would lead to her banishment. She ended her days a wandering tinker. After the courier ensured New Vegas remained free, the followers found that independent Vegas was even more unstable and violent than before. Old Mormon Fort became excessively burdened by the influx of patients, struggling to provide even the most basic of services. With New Vegas' independence formally declared, Good Springs thrived. More travelers stopped by Good Springs on their way to and from the Strip, and the locals grew prosperous from the traffic. Rose of Sharon Cassidy died as her caravan died in an unmarked grave, another victim of the Mojave. That's the end, guys. Make sure you hit the like button.